reactions and reflexes are by no secret an important asset needed in FPS gaming, especially at a competitive level, right? One portion of an aim battle is whoever can react to the other person first. Hey man, it's gone. Okay, this what? kid just knows. Yeah, this kid knows. That, that's what I was thinking. Using my experience as a competitor and the experience of 700 other students I've taught before, I'm here to give you what I found and what has been proven to work. Hello everyone, I've been aim coaching people for a living for about more than a year. I mechanically trained people who won international siege tournaments, ex-professional Halo players, Valorant tourney winners, Overwatch contender DPS players, ECA main plus, blah blah blah, so on and so forth, you get the idea, right? When people watch clips like this, they think to themselves, damn. That boy kind of fast. Damn. So a lot of people jump ship to try to improve the reaction time. And yes, reaction time does play a role in how you react to other people. However, what made these professionals professionals is not only the reaction time, but the reflexes. And there is a differentiating factor between those two. So when it comes to improving your reaction time, your reaction time is almost a, kind of a God given gift. Right? Something you can't really change too much about you. However, you can train your reflexes. Reaction times can be touched up upon, but reflexes can be trained and honed. I'm going to first talk about how to improve it mentally, and then after that, how to train it mechanically. Talk to any tournament winner, and they will tell you, mental is half the fucking game. And also, please leave a like. I don't know if you guys like this, so it lets me know if you guys like this content. So first, I'll fucking show you an example. In this hypothetical situation, let's say you're walking your kitchen, right? And you think to yourself, Damn, my dick kinda cow. Slap that shit on a fucking stove. Right, so what goes through your head? Ah oh, yes, so it may seem that my penis is now in a position of great bodily harm. Now which if my phallic limb were to stay poised in this ghastly position, I- Or you- Bit. Usually people react just like the second example. The thing about the second example is that that is an evolved survival trait. You don't ask yourself like, oh, maybe I'll get hurt if I stay on it. No, you immediately pull it out without even thinking about it. You just do it. And with the proper experience, mindset, and training, your reflex aim can be exactly like that. There is a reason why we evolved to have the reflex of not thinking, just doing. Because it's due to that reflex that has us survive for this long. If it is so effective for our survival in the wilderness, then it shall be effective in a competitive atmosphere such as fucking video games. The moment that you think about how you're gonna kill a guy is the moment that he's already decided to shoot you in the fucking head. But in order for you to achieve that automatic instinct of you snapping to the guy's skull requires the ability to know that you can do that action. That is why a lot of the most mechanically gifted individuals are typically very aggressive players because they can achieve that mental competency. Miyamoto Musashi, one of the most legendary Japanese swordsmen of all time, winning 61 duels undefeated. Well, I mean, given he's, he hasn't died from a duel, he is considered a kansei, a sword saint of Japan, which I did not know until I googled his fighting record, but I'm guessing it is well deserved. And he says the same thing. In battle, if you make your opponent flinch, you have already won. It is with hesitation that brings failure in an action that you are trying to do precisely and as quickly as possible. That's why in a lot of Asian cultures, when they're talking about martial arts and meditation, it is important to learn how to clear your mind because once you start clouding your mind with anxieties and doubts, what happens is that you are giving the opponent ample time to hit you before you can hit him. Exactly how your opponent will shoot you in the fucking head before you shoot him in the fucking head. So one 
one really big tip when it comes to improving your reflexes, learn how to clear your mind. Learn how to get used to the stressful anxieties of comp, tournaments, or scrims. This is advice to anyone who's doing any of those three. That's why when you play deathmatch, you feel like you react a lot faster and do a lot better because you lack the stresses of what comp and tournaments will give to you. While in comp tournaments, right, of course, you're going to be playing a lot worse because there's a lot more factors that are weighing you down mentally. All right, now let's talk about how to train your reflex shooting at a mechanical standpoint. So when you're trying to train your reflex shooting, it is very important to try to do one target at a time scenarios. The thing about multi-target scenarios is that they don't really accurately train you for many games you played today, mainly because multi-target scenarios do not give you the reflex training that you need you will be planning your shots play a very popular task like grid shot for example right subconsciously in your head when you're playing this task you are actively thinking all right i'm gonna shoot that target first that target second that target third but because those targets are already up you're not reflexively aiming at them. You are target planning. Target planning is just not going to be a thing in most of the shoes you're doing. Because first of all, no one has a fucking bobblehead like that. Second of all, you're not going to be peaking more than one person unless you're in a very rare situation with a very low success rate. Scenarios that have one target at a time makes your second target inherently very unpredictable. And because humans inherently want to have a higher score, that's why Kovacs is a lot of popularity when it comes to the leaderboards, right? You will be pushing yourself to react faster, faster, and faster, and at the same time training your reflexes. And the only way for you to learn how to apply these learned reflexes and drills is to play as much comp as you can, because you need to emulate that high stress environment. If you can spam scrims and tournaments instead, that is way better. Just keep up with the practice. One important thing I want everyone to know just because your reaction time is shit does not mean your reflexes are going to be shit. Fucking my reaction time averages around 190 200. Really fucking low compared to the people around uh, my general skill rating. Even Simple, who's one of the most talented and fastest mechanical players in Counter-Strike, averages around 190 to 200 milliseconds. Although, yes, you could be born with a godlike reaction time, but what does it mean if you have nothing towards your reflexes? Hope you guys find this video quite useful. Please let me know in the comments what else you want me to cover next. I'm kind of new to making this whole, I guess, quote-unquote, purely educational content right but if everyone seems to be quite interested i will continue this is your friendly neighborhood maybe toxic i'm coach titanos signing off